What's going on my precious gems? Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. I am your host Frosty Cones and your coach of the Austin Agrons bringing to you week two of the WSS the World Showdown series against Crow in the Silver Spring Scissors you guys. Holy cow this this battle was a really this was a crazy battle. Um, I don't want to spoil anything just yet. Uh, we did not have a team builder uh, if you guys are new to the channel and uh, new to seeing these uh, showdown leagues or these draft leagues on my channel I don't really do um, I don't do uh, what's what's the word team builders on on these uh, these kinds of battles um, I feel like doing a team builder really like stresses me out and um, it makes me second guess myself a lot so um, I like to go with my initial gut, uh, make the team, you know, test it out throughout the week and then have our battle. I also don't really like to uh, have my team builder up uh, before we've even had our battle. And um, yeah, we actually had our, our battle today. So here we are. Uh, we got the squad out here. He's got, Crow's got Volcarona, Bronzong, Gliscor, Keldeo Regular, Garchomp, and the Mega Heracross, which is going to be a problem. Uh, we have on our squad, we have Aura, the Alolan Ninetales, Gizmo, the Sableye, Kida, our Mantine, oh, what do we name you? Zaboomafu, <laughs> our Pissimian, Ivan Ooze, the Alolan Muck, and Ida, the Celestila. Now, before I get into this battle, uh, definitely be sure to check out Crow's side. Uh, his channel will be linked into the description below. And show some love for the Austin Agrons by hitting that like button, and as well as commenting and subscribing to the channel if you are new. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this battle started. Boop! So, I led out with Gizmo because that was kind of like my best lead. Um, I was kind of uh, stuck between leading off with Ninetales and and Sableye just because but I felt like Ninetales wouldn't have as better of a, a matchup against what uh, against most of what he could possibly lead with so I go ahead and go with the knockoff while he sets up his rocks turn one I follow that up with a knockoff uh, I'm sorry with a will-o-wisp on the on the following turn as he goes for gyro ball which isn't going to do much I have this Sableye is I believe 112 uh 112 defense 144 special defense max hp or something like that so he's kind of a bulkier set than what i brought last time um or at least more balanced bulky um he i'm gonna try to spam knockoffs this was kind of my my point to just go ahead and he like he doesn't really he can't switch into anything and get knocked off uh he can switch into his hair cross but um, I would go for a Will-O-Wisp and, and make him useless, basically. So we do get a Toxic out of that exchange as he goes into his Volcarona. And here I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to go straight into Kita as he goes for the Quiver Dance. And I don't know if I really wanted to get my rocks up. Uh, it didn't really affect me this game. I mean, we do have Kita. We do have Aura that get that 25% that, uh, that loss from coming into Spikes. But... I don't know, I just, I, I figured, you know, getting a Scald off, that was top pry to taking care of, of the Volcarona. So he goes into his Keldeo immediately as I go for the Scald and get the burn on top of that. He follows up with a Calm Mind as I go for a Tailwind. And I mainly brought Tailwind to speed myself up. He's got a really fast draft. Actually, Ninetales, I think, is one of the fastest mons on my team. And the only thing that could really outspeed it, I believe, was Keldeo. Um, so that's why I put Tailwind on, on the squad. So I go for Air Slash here and it flinches him. So keep keep tabs, guys. I got a Scald. I burned him. I Air Slashed. I flinched him. So on the following turn, I'm going to go for another Air Slash. And uh, guess what happens, you guys? He actually flinches and <laughs> dies to the burn. And I felt so bad. Like, honestly, that was crazy. That Like, this is crazy. So we still got to turn a Tailwind up as he goes into his Pimpet, his Mega Heracross, and we get a critical hit. So it was Burn, Flinch, Flinch, Crit on this shit. He goes into Gillette, his Gliscor, which is a good nickname, by the way. He goes for the Sword Stance as I go for Scald. And at this point, I'm like, fuck it. Might as well just ask for Burns. Ask for ask for the hacks. So... He, he, we get the, the burn off, um, kind of making him useless, but also pretty useful. Uh, we lose Kida in that exchange, which is completely fine. I'm going to follow up with going into Ida and Autotomizing. This is an Autotomize set 
with Air Slash, Fire Blast, uh, and Earthquake, holding Life Orb. So this actually is a really good freaking set. We do get the kill off, which means that we are able to, oh, my dogs are going nuts, which means we are able to get the beast boost off. He goes into his, his guard chomp and I get another flinch off. Uh, I, I, like, I literally feel bad. I feel bad. You see how many hacks are happening right now? Um, so yeah, that basically, that just ends the battle. I really don't know how to feel. Um, I guess this is my team's kind of, uh, payback for last week. I guess my team just really did not enjoy getting 6-0'd last week. So, um, we did kind of make up for that in the differentials. We are now minus one with a 1-1 one, one win streak. Um, hopefully we can really pull through for the rest of the, for the rest of the, the league season and uh, we can make it over to playoffs again. But that was a really good, that was a good, like, funny match out of the out of the matches this week, I, I believe. Um, hopefully this gets match of the week. That would be really freaking awesome. But, yeah, that's going to end off today's battle. If you guys enjoyed it, definitely be sure to hit that like button, comment what you thought about it, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and be sure to show Crow and the Silver Sing Spring Scissors some love down there in the description below. His channel will be there, as I already said. But with all that being said, I'm going to get out of here and bounce you guys. I am your host, Frosty Cones. Thank you for tuning in to Channel 4. And I'm signing off. Peace, y'all.